Hey everyone, Dan the Wild Birdman here. I have these two Bakugan Resurgence card collections here that we're going to go ahead and open. As you can see on the packaging, it's got two Baku cores in it and one exclusive trading card. This one is Maxator Ultra. I know you can't really see it through the shiny plastic, but I'll show you guys the back so you can see what that looks like. It's essentially the same on Garganoid's box as well. I want you guys to go ahead and post in the comments who do you think is going to have the better cards in their pack, Maxator or Garganoid. So I'm going to go ahead and open these real quick. And uh, while I'm opening these and the crinkle crunching is delighting your eardrums, you can tell me how your week's going. Maybe you picked up some really cool Bakugan. I know I saw Talon at the... Uh, target in my area when I was doing some grocery shopping the other day. I didn't do a video or pick them up at all because I had to pay for college and we all know. We all know how that goes. So yeah, thumb, thumbs up if, if you're going to college right now. You can tell me what you're studying too. That would be pretty cool. Right now I'm just taking a Spanish class so I can kind of get a feel for going back to school because this whole COVID thing kind of kind of threw things off and by the way i have a really cool donald duck band-aid on my shoulder right now because i got my second vaccination dose this morning which actually wasn't too bad it was a little scary but once it was done it was over so anyways let's get into the bakugan i'm so sorry if that was loud they always add a lot of packaging for these Alrighty, I'll lift this guy out real careful so you guys can see him. It looks like he's got machetes almost, or actually those kind of look like ice skates. He could play hockey, but like doing a handstand, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I really like the artwork on him, he's like a robot bull. He, he should be on the, the can of Red Bull. I should do a promo. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the packs. Open this one kind of off camera because it's fighting me. <laughs> Alrighty. So our first card is Mind Slip. We got Solar Powered, Second Strike, Shadow Cloak. I really like this one. I forget the name of the guy who's on there, so maybe one of you guys can remind me. We got Mantinoid. I really like this Diamond and Mantinoid. We got Stone Blade. We got Titan Gorthion Ultra. Hypertrox Ultra. We got another Air Zero for the collection. That's pretty sweet. And then we have. Wait, what? This is in three languages while the rest of the pack is not. That's actually kind of cool because I was mentioning learning Spanish. So now I can. I can learn some Spanish. See, Tiene mean, means it, it has. I can't pronounce things. In my defense, my Spanish class is online, so a lot of it's written and not spoken out loud, so I gotta get to practicing on that. That'd be really cool. Alright, if this pack is, is all bilingual, I'm gonna be totally amused. So we got Titan Mantinoid, we got Diamond Sidneyus looking all cool there. Darkest Howl. I really like the artwork on that. I don't think it's the greatest card, but it looks pretty rad. Then we got Titan Krikelios Ultra, Tangle Vines, Hyper Pegatrix, Mud Pit, Chargo Ronin. We got Titan Cyndius Ultra, and then we got Maximus Garganoid Ultra. I kind of find that funny that we got it in the uh, Maxador pack. Alright, last pack. What do you guys think is going to be in it? Oh, shoot, and I forgot to show you guys the cores, but they're probably pretty basic anyways. So I'll just show them to you for the sake of you knowing what's in the pack should you come across one of these at the store. There, we got another Mantinoid. I'll move them up a little closer so you can see better. I forget to look down at my uh, camera occasionally. Ooh, Webum Ultra. There was one time where me and Jules saw that Webum Ultra was supposedly on the on the site of Walmart, 
saying that it was in stock at our local Walmart, so we rode down the bus, and lo and behold, it wasn't there, because Walmart, ooh, we got a Shun Kazami, this is a really good card, because every time you open a Bakugan, you can draw a card, this is badass, and I'm keeping it, and then we got China Riot as our hex, but yeah, lo and behold, Walmart website lied, and they didn't have what they said they had, so don't rely on that, guys. All right, here's the cores. This is pretty good, the uh, Flaming Fist for six, but the Green Fist is really nothing to write home about. But hey, you know, I would rather have cores in those little deck boxes that honestly nobody uses. I mean, I do use them for organization purposes, but you really don't need that many of them. And wow, this is really stuck together. I'm trying to do this without killing everyone's ears. RIP headphone users, right? Alrighty. Gotta get this pack out. And like last time I was doing this, I'm trying to be a little careful because there were some cards that were damaged straight out of the packs and I think that's due to like all the little prongs and things that keep the card packs attached to all the plastic so in the future I'd really like Spin Master to kind of fix that but here's Garganoid and he's looking like a beast he kind of reminds me of Batman a little bit sitting up there has anyone watched the uh the old Gargoyles cartoon from the 90s because that also makes me think of this pose. Alrighty, so we got three more packs. This one feels slightly damaged, so I hope there's nothing good in it, or at least... Oh yeah, speaking of nothing good, here's the very meh cores. But, uh, let's hope that if there's anything good, it's not damaged. Okay. When I got these, I actually thought that they were Battle Brawlers packs, so I thought they had the Dan Kuzo where you could cheese cards out with it, but then I realized that the Dan Kuzo in this set, you can get, like, Double Strike with, which is still pretty darn good, and I'd really be happy to get that one as well. Ash Cloud. I don't think I've seen that one before. We got Titan Nilius. My girlfriend's going to want to steal this from me, which I'm cool with that. We got Hyper Hydorus, Titan Tertonium, and Chaos Blessing. So anybody want this card? Because not really the biggest Cubbo fan, and I'm more than happy to trade. Alrighty, trying to open this pack. We got Flash Flood. Choose a non-energy card in play and return it to its owner's hand. So this, you could probably reuse some things that have an effect when they come into play. So that's pretty darn cool. And we got Dark Path. I just like that one because it's spooky. Tangle Vines, Tremor, Ventus Shield. I like the art on it. Not the best card, but still enjoyable. Hyper Gorthion, Aquify. Swap the Baku cores attached to the Bakugan you rolled this turn and the opposing Baku. On that that's pretty rad right there like you if you use this correctly it could probably be a game changer we got titan mantanoid we got strata looking like a beast he's he's like all crazy like he's had too much mountain dew and then we got freeze i like i like that in the hex but getting back to the um which one was it I already forgot the name of it. Getting back to Aquify, you could probably purposefully roll into a trap on your side of the field and then just be like, here you go, and just give it to your opponent and win the game that way. I love little creative things like that, to be honest with you. I know it's not going to be competitive and, and consistent, but it would be really fun. Hyper Fangs or Ultra... Magma Shield. I actually really like uh, Fangzor. He's pretty cool. Pyrus Heat Shield. Quick Fire. This is another good card that I like. We got Holy Flame. We've got Unstoppable. 
with Hydorus looking all cool on there. Then we got Rock Riser. I believe Rock Riser is one of the attacks that Trox does in the shell. And then we got Karmic Balance. I really like this card. Not for its competitive aspect, but it just it looks cool and it feels like it could fit into the lore of the show. And we got Titan Cindius Ultra, and for the Hex we have Lightning! Another card that Jules is probably going to try and steal from me. So uh, what do you guys think? Who had, who had the better packs? Leave it in the comments below. Um, I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be back with another one soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.